This is a uh, meadow, um, which is Might and Delight's social game based around the world they built for Shelter and Shelter 2. Um, and this is as far as I've figured out so far. Um, so I'm, I'm wandering around as a badger cub and then on the left you've got all of these symbols which show different types of interaction you can have. There's the hello greeting uh, if you bump into anyone else in the world and a sad thing and a smiley happy laughy thing and I've just unlocked this which is a sort of socially awkward dinner party stare um, and then you've got all of these other bits and pieces so they're symbols which I think are just supposed to help you communicate intention so like no and yes and that's a I think a follow me to this point and a let's head to this mountain or possibly a really angular mushroom or something um, and let's go into a cave perhaps let's climb um, something like that I think this one must be the dinner party which links to to that sort of slightly awkward thing um, this is I think maybe here's an artifact and here's a flower that's day of the tentacle obviously uh, crossing water and I have no idea what that is maybe changing outfit or creature and that one's squeaking so like so and that one is lying down I'll just move so that you can see it a bit better uh, yeah <laughs> which is actually quite cute although he kind of looks dead so mm, you can also get rid of that interface and bring it back so yeah if it's cluttering up a bit all just gets rid of the extra things so you can assign stuff I think to those hotkeys although uh, I haven't tried yet um, the landscape is really lovely actually I didn't really like it in the previous like in the shelter games because it always felt like it obscured what you were supposed to be looking at but here it's actually it, it feels like it really comes into its own like they found their feet with the the texture busyness and the colour schemes and things like that so it's a really appealing patchwork instead of um, something a lot more in your face or just unhelpful. That said, I do find that I can't always see other creatures around me. Um, I do find that they can sometimes get lost in the world, which is not helpful given it's supposed to be a social forum, I guess, in some ways. So let's uh let's do the crossing water thing yeah off we go paddle 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 squeak squeak it's really nice actually uh i i just like how bare bones it is and and how you have these icons to communicate with and nothing else um i think it's a weird one to just boot up because it doesn't give you any explanations there's no hover over information when you see that panel for the first time you just need to have a think about what each thing might mean or what it means to you or um, within the context of the world I think it, it they become more obvious but there's a lot that's taken on not exactly trust but it yeah like if you haven't played any of the shelter games before they'll seem oh here's a here's one of the artifact things um so just like a blobby floating crystal and that pushed up my essence total in the top right hand corner um and i think that that's to do with unlocking different outfits for your animals so that's the skins thing um, and also you can 
unlock different emotes and, and all of that stuff. All of the facilitating social interaction and rewarding it. Um, one of the things that I quite like is um, it's not pop up, but it's texture or retexturing, and it oh, didn't even see that. Um, and it it sort of flows away from you as the world is textured in as you explore it. So let's see if I can. I think maybe I've chosen the worst place in which to do this because it's more obvious on the trees when it happens and this is obviously winter and so <laughs> the trees have no leaves for the retexturing to happen on uh, <laughs> okay so here this is the thing which shows you the map that you've explored at this point um, and then over here is I guess progress you've made towards getting an emote and the different types of skin although the number just seems to go up in terms of the essence it doesn't seem to tell you what things you are um, actually bolstering I guess without looking at that stuff and trying to intuit what might be going on I think I just assumed that maybe the artifacts related to one and the plants that you can run into and pick up related to the other but that's not something that I've particularly tried out because I'm just I'm just having a faff really let's see okay we're in like I think that you just wander around and there's different oh here's one of those crystal things um, you wander around and you wander into different seasons. It's not about time passing. Yeah, that was... I'm just trying to see what changed... Oh! Okay, so this is the map screen. So it shows that there's... Hmm. There's people nearby. Or at least other animals. Let's have a look. Uh, let's do some squeaking see whether they'll come to me given there seems to be a high ridge that they might be on top of squeaky squeak <gasps> oh cool <laughs> two friends that's really neat uh, yeah I'm happy to see you people have a dinner party. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, navigation is a bit of a, a faff in this because when you hold forward, uh, so W, um, <laughs> that let's go forwards um oh he's changed clothes when you hold forwards and you move the camera around it just keeps going in the same direction that it was when you pressed the key so it's not like it it recontextualizes it when you're looking in a different direction and i find that really uh, i i miss the the more um granular control Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them we should cross cross the river. Oh, okay, fine. Pick the flower first and then cross the river. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love the little um the pop swimming <laughs> little shoulders going. Look, <laughs> it's doing a little dance. It's so cute. Yep, yep, we're still friends, still together. Go forwards. Sure, back into winter. Where will we find? Rabbit can really move. Are you coming? Okay. I'm ahead now. Pip wins. Ooh. I think the ground.
background just got a bit darker or a bit yellower because maybe a cloud passed overhead there's um you get that sort of light and shade falling over the land as the sky changes i'm not sure if that's what this actually is but that's a thing that does happen uh, you guys there's a flower come back nope okay well all the more for me and then the, you get these like big lumps of rock which is what that day of the tentacle um, icon is about I'm not really sure how you activate them I, I'm guessing that the blobs on the front are to do with the number of animals that you need or things that you need to, to do but that is a total guess so have a little run over here. I find the footprints kind of weird. Like, <laughs> you only leave one every, I don't know, four paces or something? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you have a little bit of an impact on the world, but you've also apparently got three feet that don't <laughs> seem to. <laughs> make any impact so like one foot and then three ghost feet so that would probably disturb any kind of nature tracker <laughs> um okay let's see where are these guys going oh, guys and girls I've realized I say guys a lot and I've started to hear myself do it <laughs> it's like I wish there was a better kind of neutral grouping that feels as casual as that, I guess. You lot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> More creatures! Hello! <laughs> oh, you can just sort of see the edge of the world over there. Um, I tried to see what was down there and it just ended up being a badger cub falling into the void for a few minutes um, and you can squeak on your way down but um, ultimately uh, I don't think good things happen so <laughs> it deposits you back in the world so oh, oh they're all so happy <laughs> let's go over Huh. That's so nice. We're at the top of a slope. Let's all run down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so cute. It's like, it reminds me a little bit. It's going to sound so stupid, but Grand Theft Auto 5 multiplayer. Just because you could scooch around the world um, and have little impromptu races and and interactions and things like that and obviously it was of a very different tone but uh, you know there was still a basic kind of human running and jumping -ness to it so yeah and I think it's strange because I've never really clicked with Might and Delight's games prior to now. I've always found them a bit twee or a bit... <sighs> They've never quite come together in a satisfactory way, mechanically and aesthetically. There's always something a bit off or a bit dull, I find. And then this is actually just... It, it's slight but it's sweet and it's got a lot of heart and that's a thing that I think a lot of people got out of the shelter games and that I didn't um. let's have a look I think there was a, another artifact up here somewhere huh no, that's going to be a right pain to get to. <laughs> What's going on round here? Where's everyone gone? Ugh. 
yeah this is like the camera is a bit finicky on those ooh, uh, on those bits and that gets in the way um, oh up here there is another one of those artifacty crystal things so let's have a have a peek yeah oh ah okay yeah so that was obviously has led to me unlocking a new skin so let's let's take it for a spin a skin spin hmm. no one has complimented me on my outfit <laughs> Aww. well I'm gonna do a little bit more running around with all of these folks but I will say bye bye <laughs> did you like the, <laughs> the little wave? so cute <laughs> Right, vamanos!